I've been using this uh, Motorola Razr Plus for a month and I want to share with you some insights and what I like and I dislike about this phone. So let's get started. First things first, let's start with the cover screen because this cover screen is amazing. It's big and useful. And when I say useful, I mean it. So let me start with a quick background. I'm 80% of the time an iPhone user and 20% I use the Galaxy Z Flip 4, which is another uh, flippable phone. And on that Galaxy Z Flip 4, the cover screen is just awful. It's just very limited. So I don't really get to enjoy it as much as I do on the uh, more Motorola Razr Plus. But going back to the Razr, the cover screen, as I said, it's super amazing. I do a lot of things on the uh, cover screen without uh, flipping the uh, phone open. So most of the tasks are done uh, on the uh, cover screen. You can play uh, games, you can uh, browse uh, on the web pages. Um, you can uh, watch YouTube, Netflix. It basically gives you access to a, a, a number of apps. However, not uh, many apps are, or I should say, not all the apps uh, are going to be uh, compatible. For example, the settings app, you won't be able to uh, get it on the cover screen. And you know, um, not opening the uh, device all the time, it would really help uh, maintain and prolong the life of uh, the uh, hinge. Now speaking about wear and tear, feels like the hinge uh, uh, loosened up a little bit since uh, I got it now. Um, used to be stiffer, but now it's just perfect for uh, flipping it with uh, one hand. However, I don't recommend doing that uh, often because you risk uh, a disaster. Even with the most expensive case falling on a certain angle, the hinge could be affected. Now, because we're talking about wear and tear, another point to consider your uh, uh, purchase on a flippable phone like this, like this Motorola is your uh, daily activity. If your job involves a lot of uh, crawling around or you're working in construction, I would not recommend it because the IP rating on it is pretty low, just IP50, it's water repellent, but no uh, dust proof. Now let's talk about the performance and battery life on this uh, Motorola Razr Plus. And in terms of performance, it's very similar to my Galaxy Z Flip 4. They share a lot of uh, uh, same uh, specs, so that means 80% of the time will feel snappy, but here and there will feel laggy, and this is what I mean. The Moro app has this uh, animation going on, and it's just not able to uh, render it uh, smoothly. Same feeling I'm getting on uh, some web pages, but if you are uh, coming from the Apple uh, uh, background, these things will uh, probably bother you and you will really start uh, noticing them. On the battery side, Razer Plus has a 3800 mAh battery, just 100 more than my uh, Galaxy Z Flip 4. And on average, it lasts a full day, leaving 30% uh, left at the uh, bedtime, even with the high refresh rate and adaptive uh, brightness settings turned on. Uh, this is similar to my Z Flip 4, uh, if you were uh, wondering. Camera, if you were wondering about it, well, let's talk a little bit about it because it's not that bad, but do not expect same results that you would get from a Google Pixel 7 Pro or from an iPhone 14 Pro because this camera is just for a casual uh, uh, shooter, it's not for an... Uh, a power user like me. Comparing it to an iPhone, I would say it probably compares with an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8. So, we're, but we're gonna take a look at some uh, images so we can have a better idea of what this camera is capable of. So in this photo, I use the macro mode and it turns out pretty well. It has a lot of uh, details as you can see. And here's another photo with the main camera taken on a bright sunny day. And we got a little bit too much contrast going on into this image. And that's what this camera does from time to time in certain uh, situations. Now on this one, I've took the left image with the Z Flip 4 and the right is the Motorola. Everything looks fine at the first look, but when we zoom in, that's where the differences can be seen. On the left one, we have a nice, uh, good contrast image balanced. On the right side, the image is a little bit uh, too burned. That means too much exposure, camera not able to uh, adapt uh, low light and high light uh, situations. 
Same deal with those photos, the left one taken by a Z Flip 4, the right one by the Motorola Razr Plus. And this is in a low light uh, kind of situation. We're gonna zoom in to see that's uh, where the details are uh, uh, more... Uh, noticeable but as i said at the first impression they look similar now on the small details you can see the text on the uh, uh, bottle right there it's easier to read on the galaxy z flip 4 than it's on the uh, motorola so it's kind of losing a little bit of a uh, sharpness in the low light and uh, because it's adding a little bit more uh, noise so in conclusion, the Motorola Razr Plus doesn't get everything right, it, but it proves that the flip phones have more to offer than just the portability and it's just another step into the right direction. I really like it, it feels polished, it's a solid phone, I was just hoping for a better camera, but I'm hoping this video would uh, help you decide if this is for you or not. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.